guys, and welcome to the very first episode of Food with Dottie. Today we will be exploring the mysterious ways of the artichoke. These guys are definitely one of my favorite foods for many reasons. First of all, they are cheap. I got this one for 99 cents at Trader Joe's. Second of all, they are really good for you. They're full of potassium, magnesium, fiber, vitamin C, and tons of antioxidants, specifically antioxidants that are good for your liver. So if you partake in any activities that may be damaging your liver, you might want to snack on one of these guys. But my personal favorite thing about artichokes is that they're really fun to eat. They have tons of delicious little edible parts hidden underneath this pokey, alien-like exterior. There are many ways to prepare an artichoke, but today I'm just going to show you one quick and easy way. Here's what you'll need. One artichoke. One large sharp knife and cutting board. One saucepan. A bowl or container large enough to fit the artichoke. And a cup of your favorite dipping sauce. My personal favorite for artichokes is just some simple melted butter. Now your very first step is going to be choosing a healthy artichoke at the grocery store. You're going to want to find one that has a rich green color to it. And you want it to be firm and you also want it to be slightly heavy for its size. Uh, which just means that it's full of moisture and that's a good thing. A quick trick to check for freshness is to bend one of the leaves. If it snaps, the artichoke is in good shape and ready to eat. Although April is the prime growing season for artichokes, you may find that you prefer the taste of artichokes grown in different seasons. For example, artichokes grown in the winter sometimes have little frostbitten patches on their leaves, which actually give it a more nutty taste. Maybe this is weird, but I love picking out artichokes because it reminds me of picking out pumpkins during Halloween. Because unlike apples and bananas, artichokes are really unique and they all look really different. And whenever I go shopping for one, I feel like there's always one particular artichoke calling my name. Alright, let's get started. Fill your container with water and dunk the artichoke inside. Shake it around and make sure you get all the dirt from underneath the leaves. Trim the tip off of the stem as well as the spikiest parts of the leaves. Fill your saucepan with water and bring it to a boil. Place your artichoke in the water. It will need to cook for 30 to 45 minutes depending on its size. While that's cooking, let me go over the parts of the artichoke we will be eating. You have the stem, the base, the heart, the choke, and the leaves. The parts we will be eating include all these little bite-sized pieces right where the leaves and the base connect. We will also be eating the heart, and we can actually eat the core of the stem as well. Alright, the best way to tell if it is finished cooking is to tug on one of the leaves. If it comes off relatively easily, then it's ready to eat. Alright, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I grew up a vegetarian and I have absolutely no clue how to carve a turkey or how to eat a crab or probably even eat a fried chicken wing. But I am an absolute expert at eating artichokes. First you start by snapping off all the little baby leaves because they usually don't have enough meat to eat. Once you get the leaves that look like this, start eating. You basically just eat the soft white part of the leaf. I use my teeth to drag the edible part off. Eventually, you will make your way to the heart. You're going to need to carve out the choke part. It has the consistency of feathers. It would basically be like biting into a down pillow. Carve away all the excess parts and cut off the stem. The heart is definitely the most meaty and delicious part of the artichoke. Finally, you can eat the core of the stem. Just trim away the sides with a knife and enjoy it in the rest of your dipping sauce. And there you have it. That is how you cook and eat an artichoke. Well, thank you for watching my very first Food with Dottie. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about artichokes, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a delicious day.